What's going on, y'all? Uh, back with another video. Hope y'all having a great day. Today, I want to get into a few ways to make your kicks hit harder, man. Um, you know, make your drums stand out. Make your kicks hit harder. I know a lot of people have issues with this. Um, maybe we'll just draw a little piano melody real quick. Just to, you know, get into it. Something very simple. Something very simple, real quick. I mean, that's cool right there. So, boom, just say you got a melody and you got a kick, right? Uh, any, one, any one of these kicks will work. And I opened up contact. Boom, so let's say we got this welfare kick. Part of your beat. Shout out to part of your beat. Let's draw a little kick pattern in. Okay, kick, don't wanna kick, okay. Let's try one more time. So something like that, right? Let's go ahead and throw some. It's like I'm addicted to making beats. I can't even show y'all something without, you know, a whole beat playing, right? I'm just trying to make it realistic. Turn loop points off. If that ever happens to y'all, turn loop points off. So you got the key. And I just seen Wonder Girl make a story about this. So obviously you can turn the kick up right here. That's one way to, to make the kick hit harder, right? Also turn our fruity limiter. Boom. Next way. Go right here. Of course, take it to your mixer track. Now you can turn your mixer track up. I just listen now, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna flip that. Boom, a couple other ways right here. Click on your kick. You got the volume knob right here. Turn that all the way up. Now, of course, common sense. You don't necessarily want to do all of these at the same time, especially if you don't need to or have to. You don't want your kick to clip. I'm just showing you a lot of different ways. You could choose whichever way you want to go with your workflow, you know, or two or three of the ways just to, you know, keep in mind if you can't get your kick loud enough, right? But a lot of it is sound selection. But when you need that extra boost, these are, you know, about five different things that you could do or five different ways you could turn your kick up, make it hit harder. So boom, right there. That's another way. You could adjust the volume right here. Another way, pre-computer effects right here. Click on this knob. Boost. It's clipping, it's clipping hard but that's another way I guess you can hit the knob and tell it to clip but if not when you turn it up it'll kind of cut off or not ok 
Okay, but that's another way. Boom, you got this wrench right here. We got volume right here, level adjustment. Now, if you wanted to pan or anything, of course, you can do that too. It's a cool way to do that. But like Marshawn Lynch said, you know why I'm here for the volume, right? So you can turn it up right here. That's, that's about five different ways right there to get your volume high on your kicks. Not to mention, come in here, hit Control A, hit Options X, and turn the levels all the way up right here. Use this knob to turn the velocity all the way up. Hit Accept. That's another way. Now, of course, like I said earlier, you don't necessarily want to do all of these at the same time um, just you know for the beginners you want to make sure your kick isn't clipping you want to keep everything under zero for sure right here on your on your master track right so I want to make sure I add that in there for y'all um, and if you really need another way right here you can get a plug in you know like um What's the plugin I use? Trap Drive, right? That's the plugin I like to use. And that'll boost your kick up. I think I got it. I got this on the master. So let's go ahead and put this on track one instead. Trap Drive. You see how that boosts? Your bass got different types. different styles right so if you want to get a different sound you got the amount output so yeah that's another way boost your kick man you boost your kick, boost your 808 the same way. You can really boost anything, but those are a few ways that I do it. Then, obviously, or not so obviously, depending on how much you do this. But I'll say obviously another way. Parametric EQ. When you wanna you can use this last one right here, one. You can boost your low end like this. Yeah, just keep in mind that's also boosting certain frequencies when you kind of isolate you know like that that's not just boosting the overall volume that's kind of changing the frequencies not really boosting the overall volume changing the frequencies you can do the overall volume of everything like this within parametric eq so that's another way you guys use parametric EQ, boost the volume like this, or you could just boost the low end. You know, like I said, you kind of mess with the frequencies at that point, but also with the uh, kicks and 808s, a lot of you boost all of this, you're basically boosting the whole kick in 808, so it's not going to change the frequencies, you know, that much. So, but yeah, man, that's like, you know, call it five, ten ways, you know, to boost your kick in 808, man. Um, just wanted to show you guys that I had just thought of it. Um, you know, trying to provide some value to all of you, you know what I'm saying, help you out, especially the beginners, or if you're just trying to take your beats to the next level, um, you know, help you with what I know so you could become, you know, the next Metro booming or whoever, you know, so that's my contribution. Um, but anyways, man, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me this long. Hope the video helped you out. I will see y'all in the next video, man. Signing out.